Hey guys, it's Steph and today we are at Taco Bell. It has been so long since I did a Taco Bell video. They finally dropped something new. Finally, it's been forever. And they brought back the nacho fries, which yes. So they have a new chalupa called the Bacon Club Chalupa. Um, interesting, bacon on a taco. That'll be interesting, sounds good though. So what is on this taco is chicken, three cheese blend, bacon, lettuce, avocado, ranch sauce, and tomatoes. So everything I like, sounds good. And I was getting a few DMs from you guys saying that it was really good and I have to go try it. So this actually came out on Christmas Eve and I was gonna come get it on Christmas Eve, but I didn't, I waited a little bit. And then the nacho fries too they have back, which I don't know why they keep like teasing us and bringing them back and then getting rid of them. They do it like every few months, I don't know why. I guess maybe it's like the hype for when they come back and then more people go and get them. I don't know. But they got rid of like everything good. So I'm hoping they bring like all that stuff back, especially all the vegan options. Okay, what do I get? I'm gonna get some other Welcome stuff to too. Welcome to Taco Bell, what can we make for you? Hi, can I get the nacho fries? Okay. And... Uh, Do you want the nacho fries box or just the nacho fries? Just the nacho fries. Okay. And then can I get the bacon club chalupa? Just the chalupa or did you want the combo? Um, I'll do the combo. And the drink with that? Could I do the midnight berry freeze? We don't have that. Oh, you don't? Do you have just no. the blue raspberry one? No, we don't have it, any of those yet. They will not release them to our Taco Bells until we get rid of the dragon fruit. Okay, I'll do the dragon fruit then. And then can I get a cheesy gordita crunch? No problem. Did you want that um, freeze large or regular? Regular. And then you said a cheesy gordita crunch? Yeah, and for the taco inside, could I do the Doritos Locos? All right. And can I get a side of sour cream? Anything else? Um... That should be it. Any sauce? Yeah, could I get the hot, please? 1336 pull around. Okay, thank you. Ordering is so stressful. I always feel like I'm so rushed. Because I wanted to like look at the menu more, which I guess I should do that ahead of time. But I didn't. Mm. I kind of did, but not really. <laughs> Let's park. Let's recline. Woo! Let's sit crisscross applesauce because that's how I always sit. Let's put up my table. Oh wait, I forgot it like broke kind of. Hopefully it still works. I forgot to tell my dad that it like broke. So this is the dragon fruit. Why is my camera always so like washed out? Okay, whatever. So here's the dragon fruit. Okay, so here is the dragon fruit slushy. We are going to try. Okay, we have. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got the combo. So. Oh, I should have subbed those out for the Doritos Locos. I like. The, I like don't like normal tacos that much. They're so boring. So we have two normal hard tacos. We have the nacho fries. Mmm, yum. Um, the chalupa, the cheesy gordita crunch. <laughs> oh boy, there's a lot here. And then my side of sour cream, and she gave me a bunch of sauces. Love that, love that. I always forget to use them though, I don't know why. Whenever I'm filming, there's just like so much going on that I forget. Okay. I'm going to unwrap everything and lay it out all nicely and cute. Mm, the cheesy granita crunch, this is the best thing ever. I didn't have sour cream on it, I got sour cream on the side. So I can just dip it. Oh, look how saucy. Oh my God, this is the best thing. This is the best thing on the menu since they got rid of the quesarito. Except you could do it like on the app, but who really wants to do that? <laughs> And then let's check out what this new chalupa looks like. I haven't had a chalupa since the extra toasted chalupa that they had here. So, this is what it looks like. Looks pretty regular. I don't really see the bacon. Um, yeah, right in there, you can see the bacon. Okay guys, now that we got everything all situated and pretty, let's try out this a brand new chalupa 
from Taco Bell. The chicken bacon chalupa. Mmm. Whoa, okay. That avocado ranch sauce is really good. Very good. Need some hot sauce though. Mmm, that's actually really good. I never get the chicken at Taco Bell. I always just get the beef. I just like beef more than chicken, I feel like. But this is good. Hmm. I actually love the chalupa shell. And I never get chalupas. This is my parents' favorite. Not this one, but the chalupa. Mmm. Let's dip it in some nacho cheese. Mmm. Oh my god, Taco Bell. Literally, haven't had this in ages. You can actually really taste the bacon. Here's a close up of the inside of my camera. It doesn't suck. It's the inside. You can see all the bacon. I would actually get this one again, except I do love my good old favorite. I don't really like changing things up too much. Honestly, I rate this a 9 out of 10. Because uh, I feel like there could be more sauce on it. Because I'm like dipping it, you see. It's good, but also I don't really see the tomatoes. I feel like sour cream could be on it too. Or nacho cheese. I'm making a mess. go down that was amazing and now I have chicken everywhere like I always say Taco Bell oh that's the sour cream <laughs> Taco Bell never disappoints never except when they get rid of all the good items but it's okay I forgive you You guys, my stomach kind of hurt this morning because I had so many hot things last night. I had the nuclear fire noodles. And then, if you guys know the show on YouTube called Hot Ones, the very last sauce that everyone eats is like the last dab, the hottest one, two million plus Scoville units. Um, that's a lot. That's, I think, the hottest thing I've ever ate. On the Scoville meter, I think, right? Honestly, the wings we ate at Quaker Steak that one time, I think those were hotter. I don't know. But, but basically we did, like, a prank. And we were doing, like, the nuclear fire noodles, but added a ton of that sauce to his bowl. And yeah, we got the idea from 
this couple on YouTube, Simon and I forget the girl's name, but they're from like England. I don't know. I, I used to watch them all the time, but I was like watching pranks the other day and their video came up and I like rewatched it. Mmm. Yeah, this one's the best. So that video is so funny. I've never really like pranked someone before. Besides the tarantula thing I did with my mom. But she wasn't really like scared. She was just like, why is there a spider on my kitchen table? So yeah, I can't wait for that video to go up. I haven't edited it yet. I haven't edited it yet. <laughs> but I know it's gonna be funny. It shows like left handed. I always eat with the other ham. And it's like always in the way. It's like not spicy enough. I like the flavor of the hot the best though, because I've tried like the Diablo and Fire. Just don't think it's so hot. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. This is my first meal. It's three o'clock. <laughs> I always do that. And I know lots of other mukbangers do it too. Because I always say it in their videos like, it's four o'clock. I'm just now eating. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, because by the time you wake up, get some stuff done. You want to like not eat because then you want to be able to eat as much as you can in the video. And then by the time like you get ready, do your makeup, get the camera situated, it's just like time flies. I'm getting full. Let's try one of these soft tacos. And this. Ooh. Okay. Mmm. This tastes like grape. I hope this is the dragon fruit one because on the picture it was supposed to be like purple. This is good. I love dragon fruit. If this is this is probably the right one. I've never ate a dragon fruit by itself though. Okay, let's have a bite of this soft taco. These things I feel like are so boring. I like the soft ones better than the hard. I think I just called this a soft taco. Actually, not bad. Tastes like a tostada. Is that what it's called? Tostada. I always get it mixed up. I'm talking about the little, like, things you can put in the air fryer. They're like a little roll-ups with beef and cheese in it. Tocado, tostado. I feel like a to tostado is flat. A tocado, I don't, I don't know, I'm gonna shut up. I don't know what I'm talking about. Cheese, leave us nacho cheese whenever I get here. Mm -hmm. I need to bring back the fire one. I loved the fire one. So on my TikTok, 
I made a TikTok saying how I'm so obsessed with spicy foods right now. Um, I always go through phases. Like, I was obsessed with meatball subs. I could eat them, like, every single day. I'm kind of getting out of that phase. Yes, I do still love meatball subs, but, like, I was, like, obsessed for, like, a month or two. Maybe longer than that. And then I'll go through a hot Cheetos phase. Now I'm on to the Flaming Hot Doritos phase. <sighs> and then before that, I was addicted to the spray can and the cheese. The cheese in the spray can. <laughs> My words always come out backwards. Like I would just sit there and eat it by itself out of the can. I haven't really done that in a while. And I posted on my TikTok that I was so obsessed with spicy foods right now. And I put jalapenos on my spaghetti. I love jalapenos. I've always loved jalapenos. And everyone thought, like, it was so gross. And I put so many on my spaghetti. But you guys should see how many I put on, like, my burrito bowls and stuff. Like, I put a lot of jalapenos on it. I just like jalapenos. And everyone was like, you're pregnant. You're pregnant. I'm like, no. They're like, well, you probably are. I'm like, no. Look, like, okay, one, stop freaking me out. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, I go through phases in foods. So, I think that's why. Like, I was just in the mood for spicy. Like, today I'm not. Yesterday I, like, wasn't. Even though I ate those, like, spicy things. But sometimes you just crave some spicy foods. What is that? Piece of cheese. You know? You know? I like the view. Okay. Woo! Mm-mm. Before anyone asks, my sweater is from I'm Coco. I always get questions on my clothes. You guys. You need to watch my hauls. I always say where I get my stuff from. And my clothing hauls. Usually, like... I show and that's like what I'm wearing for like the next couple months <laughs> I wear like the same stuff I always wear the brand new stuff and then I forget about the old stuff because I just want to wear the new stuff I don't know why my camera keeps getting like so white like you can't even like see this table I need a new camera I'm not really a fan of this one anymore let me know down below like a small one that has a flip up screen. I don't like it when it flips to the side. Um, maybe I should just get the newer one of this. Newer one of this one. I have the Canon G7X PowerShot 2, and I think there's a PowerShot 3. Maybe I should just get like the newer one of that. Or I'm just not using it right. I have it on like movie mode, but like it just like always like loses focus, and like the focus isn't even that good. I need a new camera. <laughs> I've had this one for like two years. Maybe longer than that. Well, this is really good. Ooh, cold. And I'm not usually a fan of like drinks like this either, but I actually really like that. Okay, guys, I am full, so I'm going to stop eating. Um, Taco Bell, you did great with this new chalupa. I like it a lot. The nacho fries... You can never go wrong with those. They taste the exact same. <laughs> well, if you enjoyed this little Taco Bell mukbang, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, click my notification bell, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.